Welcome back to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. It's great to see that we got so many subscribers and so many positive responses that really helps us in driving uh, and pushing more content and videos for you. Um, this week it could be that we have a little bit of background noise because I'm running some switches here for this video. But um, the last two or three weeks I got a lot of questions about if we can view on HP network switches, if we can view the ports downtime. It seems that some vendors have a particular CLI command to view the downtime of particular or all interfaces. Um, the HP network devices doesn't have a particular command, but since we are in this DevOps world, wouldn't it be much cooler to do this via script where you can give an IP range and to view all the downtimes of your ports of the network. So that's what I did. So let's first uh, go to some setup of this for this video. Here you can view a step one and how you configure as an MP, at least how I configured as an MP for this uh, uh, video demonstration. See community, uh, community here, unrestricted, read uh, community as operator, some contact names, that's by the way my real Twitter name, if you want to follow me or get in touch with me on Twitter. And of course enable it. This is on uh, Comware devices, and here you can see the topology. So we have a 2920 switch, with IP36, on port 1 there is more the LAN or internet connectivity, on port 7 there is a 5400 uh, to 5406 connected to port A5, and what you can see that has IP.1.37, uh, and on 5500 is port 15 to, uh, by the way this is, uh, let me change this into 1, uh, slash 0 slash 6, and it has port 1, uh, IP port dot one dot thirty nine so uh, as you can see that we have thirty six thirty seven thirty nine and there is no thirty eight uh, this is on purpose so that you can see that the scripts will not fail if if there is um, if, if there is an, a device that it can't communicate with then we're going to test the SNMP if the if SNMP is working with net SNMP and then of course we're going to run the script so let's first have a little bit of a look in the script as you can see here this is the script I have with uh, the main program. Uh, here we're going to split the ranges in order that we can be very flexible in the way we give up uh, IP range in the script. And more or less, here's where we're going to collect uh, different, uh, different uh, as an MP information and doing the calculation in how long a port has been down. Okay, uh, I uploaded this on the GitHub. I will show you uh, at the end of the video where you can download the script if you want to. So let's first get to the to the devices. So let's see if we can um, if we can if the, we can connect with SNMP to a device. So this is dot 49. We can connect to this one. So let's check 37. We can connect to that one and 36. Okay. So if we do for example 38. You will see that it will time out, can't connect, and there is no uh, no instance on there. So this is the uh, 2920. So we can show you the SNMP server. As you can see, it is configured. The two community names here, also on the uh, uh, on the 54. One second, let me change this. Also here, configured, and of course also on the 5500. We can do a display SNMP agent, and then we can do community, for example. As you can see, read and HPROC. Yeah? Okay. So that's um, that's configured. That's what you can see. We don't need the switches anymore uh, throughout the rest of this demonstration. What we're going to do now, let me first clear the screen. I'm going to give you an example here. Is that where we say, okay, we're going to call the interface down script with community name HPROCs. And min i is the IP range. So if we just do minus minus help, you can see that we have a help. Uh, min c is community or minus minus community minus p. Um, and what you will see if if you don't fill in the community, it will take a default value of public. If you don't fill in the port, it will take a default value of 161. And then you can provide the IP ranges. So just to give you a couple of examples here, is you can do this. Uh, when that's what we're going to do, for example. 
then you will scan uh, for example like this then you will scan 36 to 39 but you can also do this um, and then you will scan 1.36, 2.36, 3.36 so you are very flexible in the way you're dealing with uh, IP ranges it makes it uh, very good to adopt it in your in your infrastructure you can also uh, use verbose mode by default it will be yes so what we are going to do is this one say so, okay interface down script minus chp rocks minus i and we're going to scan 36 to 39 so let's kick it in you can see we get some default information using the community name uh, and then uh, you can see the script name but let's run it first and then i will go into the details Okay, that was it. You see it scanned my three devices. So what you see here is first you got an overview of the uh, of the parameters that are collected uh, that we use to collect the information, SNMP community name, SNMP port number, and you saw that I didn't have anything here with a minus P, so it took the default value 161. Then the IP range that we're going to use, total IP address that will be scanned for downtime our, uh, for ports downtime is four. Then per switch it will retrieve the switch name, it will retrieve the description, and it will uh, give you the system uptime. And then you will see the interface to ID down for so long. And you can see that it is down for a certain amount of period. Uh, interface one is up, so you don't see that. I only show you the, the ports that are down. Also counts for seven because we are using it, and also for 15 because these ports are up. Then you can see the 5400, same information, port information. And as you will see, port A5 is up because that's connected and you can see how long the ports has been down. Uh, this one was not able to connect because there is no uh, switch in my infrastructure with dot .38. Then it will skip to the next one in our IP range. And you can see uh, which ports are being used and port 6 we're using here. You don't see that because that one is up. So this way, you have a very easy script where you can uh, you can you scan your whole infrastructure for ports down, and you don't need to do it like uh, like other vendors do on a, on the CLI per CLI port. So this way, much easier to support your infrastructure. Where can you download the script? I already have a long time. I have a GitHub, so you can see here GitHub.com. I will also post it in the video slash networking DVI slash HPN scripting, and there are much more scripts on here that you can freely download it all on the MIT license but here you can find it interface down since you can download it play around if there's anything wrong or you want to extend it please let me know I would be great to get in touch with you so thank you very much and uh, hope to get some feedback from you or emails from you let me know and uh, hope you uh, can uh, still value our videos